Tubers. So I chip it 45 LC here, doing a little uh, brass cleaning. This is from our day at the range. Hopefully you've seen some of the videos there. Uh, one step I like to do kind of helps with uh, cuts down on the amount of media you have to use. Uh, as you can see I got a whole bunch of brass in here and what I'm stuffing in here is a couple of uh, dried up baby wipes and what that'll do is uh, the gunpowder will actually be attracted to this and uh, when I pull these out here in a couple hours after I let these tumble you'll see that uh, those rags are very very black so uh, I'm going to put the lid on this thing start it tumbling let's see if I can do this one handed put the lid on it like I said this was from our uh, trip to the range today and now I'm going to plug this in turn it on anyway we'll start back here in a couple hours and uh, show you what it looks like when we're done Okay, it's been a couple hours. Let's uh, see if this brass got clean. And look at those rags. All that gunpowder. Like I said, those will help extend the life of your uh, cleaning media. That one didn't get too dirty, but as you can tell, it did collect some, so. Looks like the brass is pretty clean. Okay, so. How I uh, separate the cleaning media from the shells. I'll show you here real quick. Take this off and this off. and Then I take this whole bowl over to a five gallon bucket with a normal kitchen strainer in it. Pour it in. All the cleaning media goes down to the bottom of the bucket. Kind of hard doing this one handed. You see all the media going out. Like I said, this is awfully hard one-handed. Anyway, now the clean media is down there at the bottom. And clean brass up here at the top. I'm going to need both hands to get the rest of it good and clean. So, um, that's just a quick, easy uh, brass cleaning. Hope you enjoy it.